Hey, what's up everybody? We are back today. We're out in Frostback Basin I'm doing a video on how you track down all of the ocularum shards that are out here in Frostback Basin. There's 12 of them. Uh, if you're a subscriber of mine, you know I usually do not do these videos. Uh, I think the shards are kind of self-explanatory when it comes to finding them. However, uh, I have seen some questions on the forums about tracking down a few of these that seem to be a little bit harder than others to get to, so I thought it was worthy of a video. So right now, we're going to start up here at uh, Ridgeline Camp. That's what it's called. And from here, we're going to kind of make our way around here and grab these first four. So that is where we're going to start. Feel free to fast forward in the video to a place where you are still having trouble finding a shard. And hopefully, uh, I'll be able to help you out. But I am going to grab them all. So there's one. Get the next one over here near the ocularum. Or, sorry, near the uh, astrarium. And there's two. We're going to fast travel to this fast travel point to get it. If you don't have this fast travel point, it's because there's a quest here called Lead the Charge. Once you finish that quest, you will uh, get this fast travel point and be able to use it to further simplify getting around out here in the game. And there's three, and here's number four. We'll see how easy it is to get to number four from the camp here. Let me know if you need a break. I'm all right, thanks. Yeah, it looks like there's a path up over there. And I will try to avoid as much combat as humanly possible for you. so as not to drag this out any longer than is necessary. How he got clipped by something, I cannot even begin to imagine. Alright, so in order to get that one, it looks like you need to jump up on this route and then make your way over to the other side. So we will grab that one. And from here, we will make our way down to Basin Floor Camp and we'll grab these ones that are in proximity to Basin Floor Camp. And I am walking instead of mounting, just because, uh, in case you're having a problem literally finding some, how to get to one of these, uh, I don't want to just be blowing through it with a mount and uh, confusing the heck out of you on how we uh, kind of pathfind our way to uh, tracking these down. So this one looks like it's on top of that rock, which means there has to be a path up there. So we'll wind our way around here and up in this direction, and we shall find this one. Number five. Go grab number six. 
looks like it is over there in that house. Looks like the best way to go is to just take that path up and walk over. So that's what we shall do. And we'll just randomly stop to pick up some silver light. Or, yeah, silver light. Alright, so here is number six. At least it's not one of those ones that's like on a like random balance jumping puzzle that's up on the roof where you... <laughs> I think there was one out in uh, one of the other zones. The Exalted Plains that was like that. That was a real pain in the ass to get. Alright, so from here we will head down here and grab this one and then make our way north from there and grab the others. This one looks like it's up on a rock over here. We'll see if we head up here in this direction. If we can make it over to the rock without. No, we cannot. So, easiest path to the rock is probably going to be down here. So we'll try swinging up here and see if we can't uh, find some path that lets us jump over to that rock. Uh, I think we need to go here and then jump over and then we can get up here. There we go. So that was seven. Go grab eight. Eight is all the way up there. It looks like we're going to have to get on top of that far rock and make our way around. Cross that uh, root bridge. Alright, so we'll go here, here, try to get up on here. That works. Kick the birds off. And then make our way around. And here is number eight. Alright, from here, our next one is down in this direction. Easiest way to get that does not exist. So we'll just set a port in anywhere. We'll just stay where we are and make our way in that direction. Here is number nine. And number nine is looking like it's on top of that big ass rock. So the best place to go to get there is probably going to be walk up this little path here and see if we can get up on this hill. Probably not going to let us jump up here. Sometimes when you try to do this, one of your guys will pop up there and you don't have to worry about it. So that was the absolute wrong way to go, but uh, if you did go that way, you just kind of swing around here and eventually make it on top of the hill. Say hello to the Astrarium. And we will keep making our way in this direction. And because we came close to our map marker, it removed it. Apologize for that. But we will continue to make our way over in this direction, get on top of this rock, and find number nine. 
is right here. Number 10 is going to be, we'll call the one just uh, southwest of Swampside Camp, number 10. Here's 10, that's 11, 12, all right, so this is 10. Head out of camp and go grab this one and see what sort of precipice it hangs from. Oh, it doesn't look like it's too bad. <laughs> of course it is. Uh, let's see here. Take this path around, that'll probably put us up there. We hope, right? Uh, of course not. So here we go. That puts us right up here. So there is 10. Uh, let's call this 11 since it's in some proximity here. But instead of walking all the way over there, we'll port back Swampside Camp and then make our way over there. And if I remember correctly, you kind of have to walk around because you can't go over top of that branch. That may be incorrect, but... As I said, I will try to avoid the combat by bravely running away. And, of course... So, this one is a... This one is some fun jumping, I believe. I don't think you can just jump up to get it, I th if I remember correctly. You kind of have to go around and make some jumps in order to get to it. And the last time I tried to make those jumps, I failed miserably. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh there there is a way up to top on the top of this uh battlement here or aqueduct or whatever the hell it is. There's a way up here from the other side as well. This is just a random path I'm finding here on the side. But this one is uh, fun with jumping. I think that's what we call it. And I'm horrible at jumping. So there's one jump. Oh, wow. Well, it's a good thing I uh, made the jumps in the video because that would have uh, sucked to look really stupid in front of all of you, right? <laughs> So that is 11, and let's go grab 12. 12 looks like it is, uh, God only knows. So we're going to go to Stone Bear Hold and take this little, uh, you know, there's that path that leads out of Stone Bear Hold, and then you can kind of go, you know, up here, down, however you want to uh, follow the path. So we will go to there and try to pick up that last one. All right, so from Stone Bear Hold, what you want to do is head out this, like, main I won't call it the main entrance, but there was this path over here that you could take to get up in here. But then if you came down through the swamp, there's also a path that leads up in here. So we will take this path out of here and go grab number 12. And then I will go show you where you use the shards. Since the Temple of Solosan is probably already open for you and you've already collected all the shards in the game. And finished all that good stuff up. Uh, there's nowhere else to use shards, but there is out here. So, once you get out here, if you kind of just, like, bury your face in the bush and run up here on the route, you will grab number 12. Alright, so now we have all 12 of them, and what you want to do is come over here. Uh, I think it's one of these caves over here that has the um, the entrance. So, we'll go to the canyon camp. And then we'll jump down and see if we can't sort it out. I'm pretty sure it's one of those caves down there, though. So from the canyon camp, we will ascertain the location of the lift. Take the lift down, and we're going to call it this and probably be wrong, but do it anyways. Alright, so from here... I'm going to head in this direction, and of course there are, wow, there's a lot of these guys out here. Alright, well, I'm going to have to deal with them, I apologize.
Jesus, there's a shit ton of them down here, aren't there? Alright, so this is absolutely not the right cave, uh, but we will find the right cave because I'm sure it has to be this one over here then. Yes. So this is the cave you want to go to when you get down here and kill off the spider so it doesn't shoot us in the back. Alright, so this is a probably a familiar sight here for you. Here's the cave. You see the little uh, crazy lock there. Go ahead and stick the shards in, and it will open up. And that's it. So, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Take care.